What is up, people of the planet? Osiris here with Osiris Gaming, doing another episode of Path of Exile. I believe we're on episode number 10 now. Um, and we are in Act 4 next to this awesome looking tiger. Um, so we need to pick up all these quests still, but uh, just to show you where we are, because this used to be a confusing city for me, I don't remember why, but here's your little waypoint down here, and we just went all the way around, because we can't get through this door until you talk to some peeps and stuff, uh, and then we talk to these guys. Um, so yeah, uh, we're just going to keep running around, seeing where to go. I honestly don't really know this act very well, like I said last time. Um, so yeah, we need to go into the mines, which I believe is this other door down here. So we're just going to rock it down here. This is the dried lake. Is this correct? Or is this where we came in? No, this is correct. Perfect. So let's just run through here, and I think that's going to take us to, like, the mines or something like that. And I don't remember, but we'll find out. We'll, we'll learn it together. we got another one of these awesome guys here from Harbringer. And just pwn him down or all his uh, enemies. Oh, and we got. Oh, this is when the models start getting really, really nice. Look at these guys here. These things are so awesome looking. Alright. Oh, nice. Three more chaos shards. Always appreciating those. Building them up as much as possible. They are very valuable currency, especially in these leagues where the currency levels are relatively low unlike uh what i would call it, it was standard i think is what they call it here um where everybody's you know been building up those characters for so long that they just have so much currency and i mean back in the day i used to go back and just uh play these leagues and then let the character fall into the next league and it would give me the currency into that one and so on and so forth start building up like tons of chaos and a couple exalteds I believe in standard but alright nothing in there let's keep on exploring until we find out where we're supposed to be going here these guys are still dying pretty quickly let's check level cap here we're at 34 and we're at 35 so it's really not that big of a difference here so that's definitely encouraging I know it's definitely going to start, you know, curving upward quite quickly, like inflation. It's going to get, it's going to get real, real quick. All right, I've got another boss mob over here, a rare mob, I guess you should say. And you've got to kill their leader before you can kill them. That's how those work. Colossal mana flask is quite bigger than what I got. Let's pop that baby in. Let's throw that on the ground. It's tiny. Not that our mana pool is even all that big. Oh, look, a flame golem. That could be a fun distractor, but it's red and can't even use it yet. Oh, look at that. This is what we were looking for, I guess. Wow. This guy's looking pretty good. He's all chilled right now, of course, but he's looking impressive. I'm going to take his banner. He looks a lot more threatening than he actually is here because, okay, that was pretty decent attack there. But still, not not too impressed with him. Ooh, got a 5 but not a link. That would have been cool. Not that I could use it, but no chromo pieces either. Um, Alright, so let's go back to, back to town here. We're just going to put a portal up in case I need to come back to that. Alright. This is the only exclamation point. Check it out. That worked perfectly. Oh man, look at the visuals of this. Like, even though they've definitely done an overhaul in the overall game, like, this area just looks like it's had so much better graphics. Which, I mean, makes sense, but. These guys are freaking creepy. Definitely get a nightmare's worth of these guys. Like, I remember uh, listening to the interviews when this first came out, and they were talking a lot about those guys and and what they wanted them to look like. And it's it's definitely it got that spot on for the horror film look there. All 
More Harbringers. Such an interesting little uh, addition to the game. I wonder if this will be one that uh, sticks in a higher frequency. Some of them stay, some of them have dropped off. Alright, pick up all these four Chaos Shards. Looks like I'm getting more and more the higher up we're going here. What am I even looking for here? I forgot you're finding a way to the mountain. I believe that's it right there. I saw it pop up. So let's just go. Oh, never mind. That's a vault area. Let's, uh, let's go pop down this. This could definitely be one we have not e explored. At least definitely not on camera. Because it is definitely all act forward out. Got another support there, sweet. Man, I remember when gems were super important. You had to like hoard them and had pages and pages of gems. Now you can pretty much buy any gem you want just from a regular trader. It's it's kind of not exciting. Chrome piece, um, but it's all right. Made the game a lot better to make brand new characters as well as the fact that they've redone the talent tree so many times. All my old characters have been completely wiped and that kind of gives you the ability to make any character you want if you have like these level 75 85 characters that don't have any real build or you want to do something else with them all of a sudden because you got the opportunity I mean, when they change the talent tree sometimes your builds just crumble and sometimes they get really awesome either way i definitely like just kind of starting a new character because whenever you make a character that's already level like 75 you don't you don't have the learning curve to the abilities that you're using. You got to do a bunch more research to see what's going to work, and it kind of just takes a lot of time and takes a lot of the fun out of it, in my opinion. So, I definitely agree with just kind of starting over, which is why I have so many characters in my screen. Should probably go through and like delete some of those ones that didn't make it. All right, let's just burn through some of this and get this vol area going. Let's use this real quick no, I'm getting I'm getting hit and I haven't been judging these guys attacks yet so let's let's focus first now it's not like I'm needing any more damage or defense at this point now watch I'm gonna die oh these guys look way too much like human centipede that is just too many bad memories right there if you guys have not watched it, go ahead and just never watch it, because it is not worth it. You can go ahead and just go on South Park, watch the Human Scent iPad. That'll give you pretty much enough information about it without all the really disgustingness of the whole movie. Because for you to be able to make a movie like that, you have to live a pretty messed up childhood. And if you're really curious about why, go ahead and just watch it. And then you'll be regretting it. Alright. Oh, cool. We got one of these guys. Just freeze the crap out of him and watch him bend over. Wow, he's like not even attacking me that whole time. Chroma. And false spark. That's kind of a fun one to do. Oh, I love the portals. I keep forgetting that that's going to happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, we'll just continue running through this little thing. Now that I'm not fighting, I can upgrade this gem and do even more. Let's see where we're at, guys. 877 DPS. I'm pretty sure that's pretty good. I don't really have anything to reference it from anymore since I don't have any of the characters that are at this level right now, but that looks pretty high to me. And things are dying pretty quickly still, so... If you disagree, tell me in the comments below what your character's DPS is at at level... 36 with bullshit gear so I'm pretty sure I haven't upgraded my gear in quite a long time haven't really found too many good rare drops and haven't been even bothering upgrading any of the white pieces that I inevitably have this guy does some damage you gotta pay attention to him this is when they started making the fights a little bit more complicated and interesting not not quite so much tank and spank anymore. Silver coin. This guy's gonna, I think, explode when he dies. Let's make sure we're high health. 
Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Ooh, Orb of Regret. I always appreciate those, if you don't know. Orb of Regret has two functions. It takes back one talent point, just like some of those uh, quests that we do, but it also can make a uh, gem one lower level than it was previously, which is definitely a good thing to have um, whenever you're trying to make a new character and you have a gem and you don't want to level it up all the way and you just need to back it down one or say you accidentally upgrade it outside of your means and uh, like I did that one time I could use an orb regret and then continue using whirling blades but we all make mistakes so we need orbs of regret I'm just gonna run past most of these guys because these stupid areas are extra I can't even pick it up anymore. It's super dark in here. Oh man, I can't pick up anything. How am I supposed to get gear? So many chromo pieces. Pretty sure Gladiator is armor anyway, so I don't really need that helmet. And this is a freaking long one. Oh, there it is. Oh, you got blink. Go behind him. There we go. Perfect. Look at how they just die right behind him. This guy's not even doing too much damage either, which is good. Kill that. Click on the thing. I don't see any chromos. And now we're just going to keep on running because I think... Uh, it's just gonna spawn every single guy I've killed, which is why sometimes I don't kill much here. You're just gonna have to kill it again, or just simply run past them. See, look at that. Look at all the spiders that just came back. That's just a bunch of problems. I got 99 problems and my spiders won. Kill them! Alright, easy peasy leveled him up running through hit behind all right let's just see where we got here we should be getting pretty close to the edge here are you serious be really close oh I see the blue line there we go ah see how useful that blue line is I would never have found that I had to run around here like crazy now I can just come and kill them all Ooh. actually taking some damage oh that's why it's like what is killing me our little uh, boss guy here He didn't even drop a chromo. How dare him. You call yourself unique. I say nah. Alright. Oh my gosh, with the dead ends here. We are usually following this uh, cart trail here, but we gotta do these other cart trails. More and more dead endage. run to this guy boom that's what all we needed to do was talk to that guy there's a lot of like going back in this act I feel like which is kind of a kind of a newer thing it's uh, definitely not normal but we're just gonna pour it back and continue from there alright we are back in town we're gonna go ahead and spend this uh, point that we got a little bit ago finally I think we're gonna continue in this little uh, sword thing that's definitely gonna increase our attack damage quite a bit here let's find out 877 to 916 wow with one small note that's actually pretty awesome that's a good amount of uh, damage right there so let's go ahead and talk to all these people that really want to talk to me for some reason and sell all those items since we were running out of space Make sure we identify all these rares to get our maximum amount of uh, sell value here. 
Let's see, wand, don't need that. Ooh, that's actually a really good evasion rating. Quite better than our current evasion rating, so I think I'm gonna swap that in. Definitely don't need axes, even though the physical damage on that is ridiculous. And the attack speed is pretty quick too, but not quite enough. Some chromo pieces, some stuff we can't use. 10%. This one's 20%. Can't be frozen. It's pretty awesome too, but that energy shield is just trashing. I mean, look at that. It's just It's obviously a starter item here. This is actually some evasion and cold resist. Uh, you know what? I'm going to swap that in too. I think it's time we start you know, focusing a little bit more on upgrades here because we have really haven't upgraded much in a while. So let's pop these little bad boys in. Pop this one in. Oh, it's got a, th is that a three link. Not yet. But that could be a three link really easily. Let's go stash this away on our third tab. Our little cleaver there. We're gonna sell that. We're gonna drop these guys off just like that. And let's check out our currencies tab here after we go ahead and dump all these in here. Now we finally got our first order regret. We've almost filled in all of our little categories here. I don't even know, oh, it's probably just an extra slot for more. But uh, yeah, it's looking pretty plentiful over here. Oh, almost forgot one. And let's go to you. No, let's go to you and sell this last guy. We'll just throw that back in there real quick. Alrighty, so we've got that taken care of. Let's go talk to uh, Oyen. How do you, I don't even know how to say that name. He's up here. Talk to you. Talk to you. Let's claim our reward here. Let's see the chaos golem. Uh Wow, they added uh one of these has to be new since I last played, because I've definitely never seen the chaos golem, I don't think. I remember they added one act four, but like I said, I didn't play act four very much at all. Abyssal Cry. I don't know this one very well either. Let's see, 20% reduced movement speed. Interesting. Damage can't be reflected. Huh. That's kind of cool. Um. But let's just go with uh. Let's go with Ice Golem because you know we're all ice and let's just keep it all ice. Um, I don't think we're gonna be using the Golem, especially anytime soon. Doesn't have the intellect, of course. My intellect is just so bad right now. So I'm going to get good for a couple more levels at least and working my way up that talent tree, but it's going to take a while to get to the intellect portion of this build, which is really just a couple of uh, nodes in here. If we take a look at the talent tree, of course I have forgotten almost all my hotkeys. Um, we are going to be going over all the way up here and right here is probably going to give us um let's see here where is the yeah right there so we've got 20 intellect there that's definitely going to help out and we got a couple more in some of these but it's mostly focused on elemental damage i really don't need that much intellect it's just like a couple more than what they're currently giving me um so, it says to find the Rapture device. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start going towards there. But I think we'll start that on the next episode, guys. Because we are running out of time here. want to keep those upload times down as much as possible. And so that way we can keep getting you guys some more content. Look at that. Uh, skill point and two passive rees. Uh, that's really awesome. I didn't even know that was going to happen. Let's uh, fill that in before we end the episode here. Pop that in right there. Oh yes, we are almost over a thousand DPS here, guys. I just got up like another 30, 40 points right there. That's quite awesome. So thank you for watching episode number 10 here, guys. We'll check you back on number 11. And if you like the content, go ahead and hit that like button right below. Slide to the left and subscribe for more. All right, this is Osiris with Osiris Gaming. Check you next time.